Straight ahead on Newswatch 12, we'll share the story of a little boy who beat the odds and is now ready to live life to the fullest. Plus, the man accused of killing one teenager and injuring four others on Apple River made his initial appearance in court today. And Vilas County residents are working on improving their infrastructure with better internet access. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 5 starts now. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Jessica Jukic. After two years in the hospital, a man and his son are finally back home. News Watch 12's Mohammed Abdul Kawi joins us live in studio to tell us more. Mohammed. Hey, Jessica. I took a trip down to Schofield to visit a family whose son battled extremely rare disease. And now they're looking to make up for lost time. Start noticing gradual swelling in that belly button and lower area. And it just kept getting a little bit pronounced. In 2019, Tommy Rags noticed an abnormal bump on his son's stomach. So out of precaution, he took him to a clinic in La Crosse where they were living at the time. And they took a look at him and said, yeah, it seems like, you know, it looks like a hernia. But they wanted to look more into what's causing this hernia. After a few x-rays and pictures, the La Crosse Clinic decided to transfer Kingston to the American Family Children's Hospital in Madison. There they discovered Kingston actually has a rare kidney disorder called congenital nephrotic syndrome. It's a genetic disease where the filtering units of the kidneys are, are, are broken. So they, they, form, they form broken and they're, they're really leaky. So the, the filtering unit is actually leaking all of this uh, all of these materials into the into the urine that they're they're not supposed to. Kingston had to get both of his kidneys removed because of the disease, and it got to the point where the doctors had to take him off the kidney transplant list. They even asked Tommy to sign a resuscitate order, which meant that if something were to happen to Kingston, the medical staff would not perform life-saving measures. I was given notice that if something does go wrong because it had a really, you know, high percentage that you know he might not make it through that surgery that they would bring me down and let me say goodbye to him. Eventually, Kingston improved enough to be placed back on the wait list. And then, Tommy received a call that would change his life forever. Once we got the call that, hey, this is gonna happen, we have a match, we have consent, this is a go. Basically, you're kinda numb because it's, it seems like it's, it's, you know it's gonna happen, but it still seems very unreal. Initially, Doctors gave Kingston a 3% chance of living. I asked Tommy how does he feel about his son being the odds. It makes me feel really good about him. I mean, really good about everything overall. What were the nurses like to Kingston in the hospital? Like oh, God. The nurses were moms. I, you know, to Kingston, Hi, King. uh, the nurses were amazing. I've, I literally feel guilty for taking Kingston away from the nurses. <laughs> And after being in the hospital for two years, it was finally time for Tommy and Kingston to come home. Tommy! Now Tommy's excited for the life he could get to Kingston. Hopefully in the future, maybe next year, you know, be able to travel with him, take him camping, um, be able to do things with him. While Kingston will need further treatments, Tommy's f family started a GoFund me page to help pay for expenses, which you can find on our website, wjfw.com. Jessica? Thank you, Mohammed. A Wisconsin couple is dead and two others are in critical condition after a lightning strike near the White House Thursday. 76-year-old James Muller and 75-year-old Donner Muller of Janesville, Wisconsin, died from their injuries this morning. The incident happened Thursday night after lightning struck Lafayette Park as a severe thunderstorm hit the D.C. region around 7 p.m. The couple killed was visiting from Wisconsin. No more details are available on the other two people that were injured. The man accused of stabbing and killing a 17-year-old in Wisconsin is charged. This afternoon, 52-year-old Nikolai Mew was charged with first-degree homicide in St. Croix County, Wisconsin, in the death of Isaac Schumann from Stillwater. During today's hearing, Mew announced that he had hired an attorney, one of the attorneys from Kyle Rittenhouse's defense team. A jury found Rittenhouse not guilty in a Wisconsin shooting during a riot in Kenosha after he said it was self-defense. Mew is also making a self-defense claim. It was a picture-perfect day in the Northwoods. Meteorologist Conrad Sapinski joins us with a timeline for the rain tomorrow. 
Well said, Jessica. Definitely was a, perf a picture perfect day. Lots of sunshine, temperatures in the 80s. I went out fishing earlier today, so it was a cooler start to the morning. But once that sunshine came out, really warmed things up. And we are all under some mostly clear skies right now. Mostly sunny, I'd say, uh, all across the region. Temperatures around 83 in Rhinelander. So we do have some above average temperatures. Enjoy those 80s while they last. You know, it's August, so it's almost going to be start to cooling down uh, but the winds are blowing out of the south at around 11 miles per hour so it is a little bit on the breezy end in the northwood same thing in wasa just a bit warmer coming in at 85 degrees they do have a little bit more of a gustier wind blowing from the south southeast at 17 miles per hour but 80s all across the state even some 90s in the southern part of the state 88 by eau claire but 83 here in rhinelander so it is hot scorching hot it's actually really hot in south dakota hundreds there no hundreds here but we'll continue to have warm temperatures into tomorrow tonight we'll cool back down into the 60s jessica thank you conrad populations in northwoods towns quickly grew during the pandemic specifically vilas county in the 2020 census vilas county saw a 7.6 percent increase in population but to keep up with the influx of people the vilas county economic development corporation took on a massive project the corporation began high-speed broadband expansion several years ago since then thousands of more locals and visitors have access to internet Kathy Schmitz is the executive director of the EDC. Schmitz says during the pandemic, more people saw the value of living in the Northwoods. What we've all found out from the pandemic is you want to live and work in an environment that mirrors you know, who you are um, and your family's lifestyle. And you can do that from our beautiful Northwoods. Recently, Vilas County received $5.1 million to fund broadband expansion. That makes the total broadband investment nearly $15 million in the county. Bill Nemeth also works with the Vilas County broadband expansion and says hundreds of more people will see better service by this fall. Well, this is great. This is one of our projects that we have to, exp to expand high-speed broadband in Vilas County. We're here in Arbor Vita, and Charter Communication Spectrum is uh, doing work trenching fiber optic cable along Highway 51. It's an extraordinary project. A total of 14 townships in Vilas County have been working together to expand high-speed broadband. The current project will continue in Vilas County for the next five years. Since Tuesday, the Northwoods chapter of the Antique Outboard Motor Club has held its annual antique boat and motor show. With a new toy motor display and a boat parade ahead of the Quahomet Water Ski Show, their show has been very well received by the public. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver has more. This is the largest meet that there is for the Antique Outboard Motor Club. Since 1980, the Northwoods chapter has been welcoming boat enthusiasts to their show. What started with just a handful of boat enthusiasts has grown to a national scale in Tomahawk. In 2000, we got so big that we had to come to the arena. And since then, it has become bigger and bigger. This year, we have 22 states represented 11 boats cruise by Quahomet Bay to show off their collectibles. It's always fun to do the flyby at the ski show. Hopefully folks appreciate their vintage stuff as much as we do. Harrison Smith found his 1954 classic with his dad at 8 years old. 30 years later, he still loves running vintage motors on the craft. We're dealing with stuff that's 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, so uh, there's a lot of maintenance. And um, yeah, we uh, prepare for a year to come up here and spend a week messing with this stuff. At Sarah Park, an estimated 800 motors were for sale to collectors. This year, Denny Cole ran a new miniature model display. We have a very comprehensive display out here of toy outboards, and this is something that's uh, never before been done through the Antique Outboard Motor Club. Cole says some visitors wanted to get in on the fun. We actually had people come out, they saw what was here, they ran back home and brought back their motor and their boat. One guy brought it back in 1920s with the battery and had it running on his little jazzy. He wasn't walking. In Tomahawk, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. The Advanced Welding Institute of Eagle River has been on a mission to grow their enrollment size. After the break, we'll hear from one of the instructors. That's right after weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. Ron Johnson never thinks about people like me. 
He's all about those Washington guys. Drug companies, insurance companies. Johnson took their money and pushed for billions in special corporate tax breaks and even admitted benefiting from them himself. No wonder Johnson's net worth doubled since he's been in Washington. Meanwhile, Johnson thinks we ought to consider raising the retirement age. We ought to put Ron Johnson into retirement instead. SNP is responsible for the content of this ad. Oh, wow. Packer Scratch Games are back? And there's a chance to win two season tickets? For two years? Piggies and a blankie. Thank you. Wisconsin Lottery Packers Scratch Games are back with instant cash prizes and a bonus drawing for two Packers season tickets for two years. With prizes this exciting, everything feels like an opportunity for a big play. Available at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. All right, go Pack Go, man. Some numbers are inspiring. Some playful. Some worth celebrating. After an accident, there's one critical number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. No other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Come see the fresh changes Woodland Creek Furniture has made to its showrooms. There's an ever-changing selection of unique furniture, much of which is made at Woodland Creek's own facility right here in northern Michigan. Did you know we build custom dining tables, vanities, beds, consoles, and more? New nature-inspired accessories are arriving daily, from lighting and lamps to wall art and rugs. You are bound to find that special accent for your home or office. See hundreds of exclusive designs available only at Woodland Creek in Minocqua. Today was a calm and a warm day. Once again, we had some above average temperatures, but lots of sunshine. Even from the morning hours, we had a little bit of fog in the morning, uh, but that moved out and all of us are in the clear. Not for long though. This right over here in the west, that all that green right now, there's that rain. No thunderstorms at the moment, but all of that will continue pushing east and it will finally make it into our area by tomorrow as our future cast. Thus show more showers and thunderstorms arriving by the afternoon hours tomorrow. And then that continues Saturday night into Sunday. So some storms, some thunderstorms might get strong, some gusty winds, uh, heavy rains, and maybe even some hail. So definitely keep an eye on and be on alert. Uh, be by your phone if any severe thunderstorm warnings come on and about. But our rainfall, to, uh, rainfall totals doesn't look like much. Uh, it looks like it's going to rain a lot more south of Rhinelander, closer to Wausau and south of that uh, Oshkosh. Looks like they're going to get a good amount of rain. Some locations might locally get over an inch of rainfall. So maybe some slight flooding in some locations with those heavier bands of rainfall, mostly Saturday night into the Sunday time frame. But with that rain, those dew points are also starting to rise. We had some really comfortable dew points earlier in the morning. Now they're starting to rise, still not looking bad in the 50s in Rhinelander, a couple of 60s just to the east, same thing to the west by uh, uh, Hayward. So everyone is starting to have those dew points starting to climb, climb, climb. That means by tomorrow, we're gonna be in the uncomfortable zone. That will continue into Saturday. And then finally by Sunday, uh, later in the day, that will start to fall once that rain and thunderstorms really start to move out. And then once the rain moves out by next week, we're finally in the clear. Those dew points are gonna be on the lower end. So it's gonna feel nice and comfortable. Today though was a beautiful day, lots of sunshine. Temperatures in the 80s, now we're at 83 in Rhinelander, 84 in Eagle River. So everyone still has those 80s around. A couple locations have some 70s, but in general, the whole state had some above average temperatures. 
in the 80s, but take a look at the hot temperatures in South Dakota and Nebraska. Really some extreme heat in the triple digits, so no extreme heat like that in Rhinelander today, but those temperatures will continue to stay on the warmer end with those winds starting to be more on the breezy side. We have a 12 mile an hour wind here in Rhinelander, so those winds will continue to stay breezy into tonight as we have a south wind and temperatures above average and staying in the mid 60s tonight under some partly cloudy skies. But our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show those rain and thunderstorm chances by Saturday, uh, especially by the afternoon hours on Saturday, continuing into Sunday before it finally moves out by Monday. Jessica. Thank you, Conrad. The White House physician says today that President Biden continues to feel very well while he's still testing positive for COVID-19. Dr. Kevin O'Connor said in a memo that the president will continue strict isolation measures and work from home. Biden had just emerged from isolation on Wednesday last week after testing positive for COVID the first time on July 21st. He tested positive again on Saturday in what was described as a rebound case that's seen in a small percentage of patients who take the antiviral drug drug Paxlovid. Eagle River's Advanced Welding Institute campus held its open house today. People from around the Northwoods came to learn what the school is about. Caleb Hansen is an instructor at AWI and he talked about what the school has to offer potential students. Uh, AWI is a, uh, is a post-secondary school or vocational school. We train students to weld. I mean it's just basic. Um, start with introduction um, and then we get into some more complex stuff. Hansen says despite what the school does for the Northwoods community, not many people are familiar with them. So the event has been a way to show local residents what they offer for students. Um, basically, it's just kind of to open the doors to the community. Uh, we moved in this building a couple years ago and been trying to get everything ready and um, kind of where we want it. And we want to show the community that, uh, that we're here and we're here to stay. AWI has other community events and hope to hold more annual open houses in the years to come. Potential students can schedule tours of the Institute at any time by contacting them over the phone or scheduling something through their website at awi.edu. With the fall sports season set to begin in a few weeks, one local high school is improving their facilities. Saul Meyer has the latest after the break. Tony Evers tried to raise Wisconsin's gas tax and pushed automatic yearly gas tax increases. And Tim Michaels, his company bankrolled a special interest pushing for Evers gas tax hikes. Michaels spent years as a leader of a special interest group that supported the Democrats' plans for higher gas taxes. And Michaels' company backed a special interest group that even attacked Scott Walker and Rebecca Clayfish's union reforms. Special interests, higher taxes, that's the real Tim Michaels. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us, too. Don't get me started on the overhead cost. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Birchfield Nurseries of Rhinelander has been servicing northern Wisconsin since 1950. Birchfield Nurseries grows all of their own plants, and you will always find healthy, hearty, and well-maintained plants. Let their experienced staff answer any of your landscaping questions. They also handle shredded bark mulch, compost, and topsoil. For all your lawn care needs, they carry sod, premium gas seed, and lawn fertilizer. Consider one of the professional landscape crews to do the work for you. If you want experience with quality, call Birchfield Nurseries. Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure is your Arctic Spa dealer. Made in Canada, Arctic Spas are the best cold weather spas in the world. Ask about Spa Boy, our automated saltwater system. That's Arctic Spas at Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure in Merrill. Roof warranties are all about trust. Your trust in GAF, a time-tested company, and our trust in our master elite contractors. They're trained, licensed, insured, and only they can offer our best warranties. Call Oneida Roofing today. I'm Ron Kine, and as my time in Congress winds down, I've been thinking about the best way to have a happy retirement. And so the first thing I'm going to do is vote for Brad Path. No one will work harder than Brad to lower the cost of health care and prescription drugs. 
and he'll never let Republicans gut protections for pre-existing conditions. I'm Brad Path. I approve this message because whether you're in your prime or in your golden years, easy now, I will always have your back. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Football is officially back in America with the Hall of Fame game happening yesterday. And while the Packers weren't a part of that, they're making their own moves tonight with their family night practice. Doors will open at 5.30 with the team taking the field at 7 and practice officially starting at 7.30. While it's just a practice, this event will have a game-like atmosphere where fans will be as loud as Sunday nights at Lambeau. After waiting months for football, Mother Nature made us wait just a little bit longer with those lightning delays last night in Canton. But finally, we are underway. And look at this. Jarrett Stidham is already looking to go deep, uh, sort of, on the very first play of the game. That drive led to a Daniel Carlson field goal and he gets the first points of the new season and in case you forgot who the number one overall pick in the draft was this year let Trayvon Walker remind you with his first sack of his NFL career that's about the only good thing the Jags did that game is they get blown out 27 to 11 and the Raiders have the best record in the NFL the University of Wisconsin men's basketball team released their non-conference schedule today. In the months of October and November, they've got two in-state matchups, hosting both Eau Claire and UW Green Bay. They only hit the road twice in non-conference play, heading out to California on November 11th to take on Stanford and the Bahamas for the Battle for Atlantis tournament on November 23rd. We all know it can get dark here in the Northwoods, especially at the end of fall and winter. This puts a lot of local sports teams in tough positions, but for one school, they have a bright solution. Newswatch 12's Griffin Stroin has more. So we are um, going to move forward here in the next couple weeks uh, as quickly as possible to try and get a big uh, chunk uh, to start off with and then um, take it from there. For athletes, Playing under the lights is a dream. Right now at Northland Pines, only the football team can make that dream a reality. But hopefully, not for much longer. We are looking at trying to do a fundraiser of approximately $550,000 so that we can raise money to what we call light the fields. These lights will be installed over three varsity fields. Boys and girls soccer, baseball, and softball to help athletes all over Eagle River. We're trying to give ourselves an opportunity so that we can use the fields uh, at a more optimal time for our students and uh, get them on the field longer if necessary. It'll also help student athletes stay in the classroom where they belong. For us to do a four o'clock start time, we're actually having to have kids leave classes early just so that they can go to a home event, which is not something that we want to have. We want our kids to be in school as much as possible. For Tilly, he knows he's asking for a lot, but knows that the local community is more than willing to help. We actually have a few businesses already that reached out to us before we even started this fundraiser, saying that they'd like to give to the school in some way. Obviously, $550,000 is, is not a drop in the bucket. It's going to take some time. Love to win the lottery so that we can take care of it right away, but that's uh, not always in the cards. In Eagle River, I'm Griffin Stroyan, News Watch 12. If you want to contribute or help raise money for the lights, you can reach out to Tilly or District Administrator Scott Foster. We'll be right back after the break with one last look at final weather. Wisconsin, see big on Throwback Seal, happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 58% off doorbusters while they last, plus special financing for five years. Shop now to see our lowest prices in store at Furniture and Appliance Mart. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. 
Don't miss your chance to save big money on patio furniture at Menards. We have the latest patio furniture options in stock, ready to take home today. Dine in style with an outdoor dining set or relax and unwind at a cozy bistro table. Menards is your one-stop shop with all of the latest patio furniture styles at the lowest prices. Hurry in. These deals won't last long. Get 11% off all outdoor patio furniture now at Menards. At Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, get great deals at check-in. Thank you very much. Great deals at the Players Club. Great times in the lounge with your friends when you're ready to party. And specials all week long at the Cafe the Newman, like our Friday night fit for a king fish fry. It's great to be the king. Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, where everyone is treated like a king. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. See big on Throwback Seal at Wisconsin's number one mattress retailer. Buy a Beautyrest Black mattress and get $300 in free furniture. Plus, get a $200 gas card. Guaranteed delivery in five days or less on in-stock mattresses. Shop now at Furniture and Appliance. Another warm day today. Temperatures above average once again. Our average high this time of year is supposed to be around 79 degrees. So we're at 83 right now. Earlier today we were at 85. So everyone in Wisconsin had some nice and above average temperatures. Lots of sunshine. Just a few passing clouds all throughout the day today. But big changes are on the way. The weekend looks like we'll get more chances of showers and thunderstorms Saturday evening into Sunday, and then we clear up by next week, and temperatures are going to be close to average and around 80 degrees. So a little bit cooler weather for next week. Thank you, Conrad. Well, Lester Holt is up next, and we'll see you back here at 6.